or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some disappointing products that I've tried recently. So in case if you guys want to know what those products are and want to save your money, then please continue watching. I was feeling way too cold and way too lazy to change into a really cute outfit. That's the reason why I'm wearing my Ghar Ka Kapda only today. But please don't mind that I did my makeup in a way that I look a little bit cute. Anyways, so to start with, I'm going to be talking about this duo stick by Dove. This is their coconut and jasmine duo stick. If you are an OG, comment down below what is my favorite variant from the Dove duo stick. I'm sure you would know. I'm going to wait for two seconds for you guys to comment. Okay. Done. I was using the same duo stick, which is the Dove pear and aloe variant, for a very long time. So I decided to switch things up and try something new. And I don't know why. Whenever I think about trying new duo sticks, I always end up regretting it. This time around, I wasn't expecting this product to disappoint me so much because it comes from the house of Dove, and I've been using their duo sticks for a very long time now. So I thought, oh, maybe you know what, a chai hoga. And plus, I love the fragrances of coconut, jasmine, not so much. My God, this straight up smells like. Sabun ki tikya, and I do not like that. I absolutely hate such fragrances. Like I do not like soapy fragrances at all. And it does not have any coconut in it. It does not smell like jasmine. I do not even know why did they even name this coconut and jasmine variant because it does not smell like its name. So yeah, that was very disappointing. And since the fragrance is so soapy, it tends to linger on your body for a really long time. Usually, duo sticks ka itna fragrance last nahi karta. But for some reason, iska fragrance it just lingers on your body and even Digvijay absolutely hated the fragrance on this one. I completely finished this one up as you guys can see because I hate wasting my money on products especially on things that I've purchased from my own money. So yeah, I finished this up but I would not recommend this at all. Next product I'm going to be talking about is something that's going to take you guys by surprise. When I tell you I was so disappointed and I really wanted to love this product because I love the person who is behind this brand but this product failed me and how. So the product I'm talking about is is the shampoo by Anomaly. This is their clarifying shampoo. Oh my god, you guys. Even my love for Priyanka Chopra couldn't make me fall in love with this product. I want to stay away from this product. That's how much I do not like this shampoo. So this is a clarifying shampoo, which means it's meant for a very deep cleanse of your scalp. So I only like to use it once a week. That's how you're supposed to use it, basically. Ever since I started using this, I can't even tell you guys the situation of my scalp. Now, during winters, I tend to get a little bit of dandruff. Ye hamesha hi hota hai mere saad. But ever since I started using this shampoo, my dandruff situation was on a whole different level. And my scalp was so itchy and dry and flaky. This is not for me. And on the back, it says you can use it daily. I used to use it only once a week and I noticed so much dryness and itchiness on my scalp. I can't even imagine someone using this on their hair every single day. It will be... Uh, uh, uh. I don't want to imagine that. I don't want to go there. I love Priyanka Chopra. I really wanted to love this product and I really wanted to, you know, support her brand. But this one is just, it didn't make the cut for me. I'm so sorry. Next up, I have this eye cream by Dama Touch. It is their Bye Bye Dark Circles Under Eye Cream. I'm going to be completely honest. This is not a full size product. I received this as a free sample with my purchase. And I'm glad that I did not end up buying a full size product of this because this eye cream genuinely when they didn't do anything for my under eyes it did not help with the puffiness it did not help with the discoloration that i have on my under eyes also the texture on this is quite lightweight so it even failed to moisturize my under eyes like i'm still okay with an eye cream not really working for my dark circles and puffiness but at least moisturize to karo yaar. but it didn't even do that so that is the reason why it's making it to this list very disappointing sadly this was the very first product that i tried from this brand but i do want to give this brand another short so I think I might order a few more products from them and see how it works but this eye cream is a no-no from me. Next are these acne patches that I bought from Amazon. This is from the brand Mountainer. I hope I'm saying that right. These patches are meant for those occasional breakouts that you get on your face, which is full of pus. These kind of patches help to remove all those gunk that you have in your pimple. It's gross, but it's very satisfying at the same time. In fact, I have one pimple patch right on my forehead here because I've got a ginormous pimple. You guys can see I've used quite a bit of it, but they just don't work. It's like you're just applying it on your pimple for no damn reason. It did not even shrink the size of my pimples. It did 
did not even remove all those skunk from the pimple that I had so yeah basically a failed product I have tried quite a few pimple patches from Amazon and I would leave a link to the ones that I absolutely love in my description box below so do check it out but this one is a no so don't waste your money on this so the last two products i have with me are both a hair mask so the first one is this one by plum it is their olive and macadamia mega moisturizing hair mask i've completely finished this up and you guys would think oh, yeah, isn't pura khatam kar liya? Well, then why is she talking about it now again let me be very clear that i absolutely hate wasting my money on products even if they do not work for me i still end up making it work on me somehow unlike its name which says it's a mega moisturizing and nourishing hair mask it does absolutely the opposite i felt like this hair mask was lacking so 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 much to moisturize and nourish my hair this hair mask is so lightweight that i wouldn't even compare it to a conditioner like i feel like conditioners are more moisturizing than this hair mask so that is the reason why it's making it to my list i really was hoping that this worked for my hair and it made my hair really soft smooth and manageable but it didn't and that's why i'm not going to be recommending it to you guys there are other hair masks in the market which is more affordable than this and works a lot better but this one just it doesn't last but not the least i have this hair mask by pure sense it is their macadamia deep nourishing hair mask again i have the same issue with this one as well it does not feel super moisturizing or nourishing on my hair another reason why it's making it to this list is because it is an expensive hair mask it retails for 550 rupees and you get 140 ml of product which is quite expensive for the quantity that you're getting even the plumka hair mask in the plum hair mask you get 250 grams for i think 500 bucks or something which is almost double the quantity of this one so you guys can do the math yourself it's very lackluster it does not give any shine it does not give any nourishment or moisturization to my hair i love the fragrance on this one it smells exactly like the body butter which i absolutely love but the hair mask just didn't do it for me not a fan okay so there you go guys i hope you guys found this video helpful and i hope this video made you save some money make sure to subscribe to my channel in case if you guys haven't already and come follow me on instagram because i am active there the most i love you guys so so much with that you guys i'm gonna take a leave and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye linda